Hello everybody, it's James here with James with Fitness. And uh yeah, it has been around a week. But um well close to a week, but uh things have I've been worrying about school and uh I've kind of been slacking on the videos. But no worries. Um finals are done, school is done, so expect maybe a few videos this week. Gonna get back into it. But anyway, I, today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I was thinking about um, the other day, and that was the fact that why when you lift the weight, when you go to do a bench press, chin up, row, any type of exercise, why it is more difficult, the most difficult at the bottom, and easiest at the top. I've said that it's more most difficult at the bottom and easy at the top before, but I haven't really explained why. So we have our limbs, right? We have arms and our legs. We have a barbell, which is an external object. When you have the external object at the bottom of the exercise, remember your arms and legs act like levers. You need to remember that throughout the whole entire video. Your arms and legs are, are levers. So, yeah, I broke there. Um, so, if you're doing exercise, at the bottom, the lever is shorter. And at the top, the lever is longer. The longer the lever, the easier it is to move. But, and this is going to be a little bit of a physics lesson... A lever is designed to make something easier to lift. And to lift something, obviously, with not as much force, but the force is distributed throughout. So that force is then used to lift technically a heavier weight, like you would use if you use a crowbar to open up a chest or something or open up a box or open up a window or pry open a window you're taking that force that's a lever and you're pushing uh, down on it so the force is equally equally distributed throughout the um, bar and into the into whatever you're trying to pry open same concept here. As you lower the weight and come to a stop that's at the bottom, the lever is shorter. And as you go higher and higher, the lever becomes bigger. So it's easier to lift. And remember, your lockout is the easiest point. Also, because your lockout is very strong. But the reason why your lockout is really strong is because you could just the lever is already there. No, actually, you could you could uh, you could max or you could lift probably two hundred and fifty more pounds. I've seen guys do with a lockout. When guys do lockout uh, work, which wallets they shouldn't be doing, but that's besides the point. But remember. Here, all your muscles have to engage from a short lever, and at the top, the lever, lever is extended. Now, the question will become, well, on a weighted chin-up, you it's still the hardest part of the exercise, but yet your, the lever, your, your arms are already stretched out. Yes, but remember, a lever works... By applying force to the to an external object, also strength is the production of force against an external object. As you initiate that force, that force from a chin up, your arms are already extended. So, so basically, you're at a weak point here because instead of already opening the lever. With your arms extended, you're starting with the lever extended and you're trying to pull up. That's working against the lever. That's working against gravity. Remember, 
You're using a lever to pull against gravity, and that's exactly what you're doing. But it's kind of like the reverse way because you're still in a lever. You're still utilizing a lever, but you don't have, you're the external object basically. But even though your strength is being provided to the chin of bar or whatever, you're basically the external object. The weight is below you. You have to pull yourself up. That is the weakest biomechanical position out of all lifts is the bottom. Or maybe some oddball lift that um, no one does where the easiest or the hardest part is not the bottom. For example, um, if you do, if you do like, um, crap, uh, what's it called? Um, equip benching. Um, if you do equip benching, then the, it's very, very easy at the bottom because the shirt springs you out of the bottom. But if, you, but as you go up top, um, as you start to press up, it actually becomes harder because there's less tension on the shirt as you're pressing up, but there's the most tension at the bottom. And then obviously the lockout is still the easiest or easier. So basically summarize levers work to lift objects. The longer the lever, the easier it is. The shorter the lever, the harder it is. Alright guys, I hope this video has been useful and I'll talk to you all next time.